Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you today? How are you today, Denise? Hello. Hello. How are you today, Dennis? I'm fine. Great. How was your weekend? And the weekend? How was the weekend? Saturday, Sunday? A good weekend? Bad weekend? So so? So so. <laughs> so so. Did you do anything interesting? Something new? Hola? Nothing new. Uh, hello? Yes. Did you do anything interesting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, nothing interesting. Did you watch mm -hmm. an interesting movie? What uh, did you do? Only sleeping. No escucho class. Hola. Oh, really? uh, and now? Yes. Okay, okay. Did you watch an interesting movie? Mm, no. <laughs> eh, que bien. No sé cómo sería. Did you prepare breakfast? Did you do something new? Nada nuevo. Mm, sí, no, 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 nada nuevo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about you, Fabricio? How are you? Good night, teacher. Uh, fine. Good evening. Fine. Did you have a good weekend? Mm, yes. Uh, nice. Nice weekend. Perfect. Uh, Selenia? I'm bore, I'm boring. <laughs> boring. <laughs> I know. Well, some people is trying uh, aerobics at home. Or I have seen some people, they watch the Just Dance in YouTube and they try to dance at home. <laughs> Maybe you can try. I, I can practice. <laughs> yes, <laughs> with your family. What about you, Maudi? How are you today, Maudi? Hi, Maudi. Hi. Hello. How are you today? How are you? Um, very good. Very good. Did you have a good weekend? Eh, he estado... Perdón, lo último no lo entendí. Did you have a good weekend? Saturday, Sunday, good? Si he estado bien este día. Saturday and Sunday, weekend. Esta semana? Weekend. No lo no entendí. El fin de semana. Ah, perdón. Eh, <laughs> ¿Cómo digo pues, que digo que he estado todo bien? I'm very good. Yes, very good. Did you do something interesting? Uh, no mucho entiendo el inglés. No hizo nada interesante. Ah, pues aparte de, de estar en casa guardadita, el, eh, he leído un poco, he hecho ejercicio, eso. Ok, so you read a book, exercise, and that's it, that's good. Yes, sí. Nice. Ok, um, at the last week, Last week, 
We studied present continuous, right? Okay. Remember, present continuous, yes? I am speaking, you are listening. ¿Qué recuerdan que dijimos del presente continuo? ¿Qué recuerdo? Uh, veamos. Dale, te lo veo. Dale, solo le agregué que va con el verbo to be y con el ing, los verbos. Ok, ajá. Y es para hablar, lo vamos a usar para hablar de cosas que están sucediendo en el momento, ¿verdad? El momento. Por eso se llama presente continuo. Y también les mandé unas reglas que se llaman spelling rules. So vamos a hacer unos, un repaso del present continuous. I'm going to share my screen with you. Let's see. Okay. There you go. Aquí tenemos. El present continuous en oraciones afirmativas, uh, dijimos siempre va a ir sujeto, verbo to be, verbo principal más ing. Por ejemplo aquí, I am working. Yo estoy trabajando. I am working. Pero si la voy a hacer negativa, solo agrego la palabra not después del verbo to be. I am not working. You are working or you are not working. He is not working. She is working or she is not working. Y así sucesivamente. Ok. Siempre va acompañado de una forma del verbo to be dependiendo del sujeto. Y luego la ing. Ahora... También uh, vimos un poco de la, en forma de pregunta y es no question, ¿verdad? Entonces invertimos el orden y va a ir primero el verbo to be y luego el sujeto, luego el verbo principal más ing. Am I working? Are you working? Is he working? Is she working? Is it working? Are we working? Are they working? Y luego la, en la respuesta siempre vamos a incluir el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, si yo le preguntara, are you working? ¿Estás trabajando? Are you working? Si me contesta afirmativo sería, yes, I am. Negativo, no, I am not. No, I am not. Ajá. Recuerden siempre. Incluir el verbo to be en la respuesta y si es negativa vamos a decir al principio no. Coma. I am not. Al final siempre va a ir no. Al principio not al final. No I am not. No you are not. No he is not. Y luego también hablamos sobre las formas cortas o contractadas. ¿Verdad? Esto se lo voy a mandar a su, a su WhatsApp para que ustedes lo tengan. Luego hay otro tipo de preguntas que lo vamos a discutir más adelante, como por ejemplo, why am I working? ¿Por qué? Aquí ya no podemos contestar sí o no, sino que tenemos que dar información. What are you eating? ¿Qué estás comiendo? Si sí, quiero contestar, uh, estoy comiendo una manzana. I am eating. An apple. An apple. An apple. When is he traveling? He is traveling tomorrow. What is she doing? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? Esto lo vamos a ver más adelante. Por ahorita lo único que hemos visto son las oraciones afirmativas, negativas, yes, no questions, short answers. También vimos un poco de los spelling rules, ¿verdad? Las letras de... Uh, spelling rules para, uh -huh, para hacer un como review decíamos que a los verbos que terminan en e se le elimina la e verdad y se agrega ing por ejemplo el verbo make sí. que es hacer make. se le va make. a eliminar la e y se agrega ing making 
right writing drive driving ok luego sabemos la, cuáles son las vocales cuáles son las consonantes algunas veces las palabras terminan en vocal más consonante como por ejemplo get run swim a estos antes de agregar el ing vamos a duplicar la última consonante en este caso get run y swim a get se le duplica la t que es la última consonante getting a run se le duplica la n running swim la m swimming no vamos a duplicar estas son las excepciones son tres excepciones no se duplica la letra si la palabra termina en dos consonantes o si termina en dos vocales más una consonante. En estos casos no se duplica. Eh, tampoco si la, si, la, si la palabra tiene dos o más sílabas y la última sílaba no tiene estrés, no, no lleva fuerza de voz. En esos casos no se va a duplicar. Tampoco uh, begin es una excepción. En este, la última parte es expresada, es beginning. Tampoco se va a duplicar si la última, si la última palabra o la última es uh, Y o W. En ese caso no se duplican. By, por ejemplo. Es Y la última, no la duplicamos, la, la Y ni la W, esas no se duplican. Ahora, esto es un repaso. Ahora vamos a ver qué recuerdan haciendo este como quiz. Ah, como les digo, no lo van a copiar todo por cuestión de tiempo. Solo van a ir, les voy a ir bajando aquí la pantalla para que lo vean. Aquí solo van a escribir en su cuaderno número uno y la respuesta. Por ejemplo, la en el uno. El literal ah, de la letra. El literal, número uno, A, B o C. Por ejemplo, ahí dice, I am watching TV and my brother. ¿Qué necesito acá? My brother, a book. Uh, no puedo poner solo reading, porque antes del verbo con ING, is reading. Is reading. Acuérdense que tiene que ir el verbo to be más el verbo principal con ING. Entonces la respuesta correcta es el literal is de. Reading. Uh -huh. I am watching TV and my brother is reading a book. Entonces ahí ponemos uno B. Y así van a ir haciendo el 2, 3, 4, 5. Ahí yo los voy a ir bajando para que ustedes vayan avanzando en el quiz. Ok. La seis no se mira. Ya llegó a las cinco, qué rápido. Gracias. Uh, uy, 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 dice, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? Seven, I can't talk to you right now because I, I'm studying. I am studying. Uh, what you we usually go for a walk at this time, but he doesn't go for a walk now. 
Okay, usually goes for a lot of but this time uh, he does uh. no se me paraba. Okay, si ya llegaron a la ocho, seguimos con la nueve. It's very noisy upstairs. It's very noisy. What is noisy? Noisy. Noisy is ruidoso. Uh -huh. Y upstairs. Upstairs. Upstairs es arriba, como decir arriba en el segundo piso o al subir las gradas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What are... This is very For now, three, la ocho no alcancé a leer okay. why are we waiting for we why are we why are we esperando No entiendo la 14. Claro. Why are we waiting? 14. Why? ¿Por qué? Es que son dos preguntas. Ah, son uh -huh. dos. Who? ¿A ah, quién? Sí. Ajá. Lo que, la primera es formada, solo la segunda la que amo. Solo la segunda tiene que ver qué es lo que complementa acá donde están los tres puntitos. Bueno, ah, ese. Gracias. Me imagino que if your friends sitting sitting down no Thank you. 
he isn't Yo creo que ya termine. ¿Cómo es? I will give you a couple of minutes more. So, Danny, you finish? Danny terminó. Finish. Pero... Ok, ok. Everybody finish? Finish. Okay, okay. So we're going to check your answers. Ready to check? Yes. Let me share the screen with you. Hmm. Where is it? Let me see. It doesn't show me that option. Okay. Okay, let's check the answers. Are you ready to check? Yes. Yes. Okay, watch the video and check your answers. Question number one. I am watching a TV and my brother is reading a book. Question number two. Mama and Pedro are playing outside in the yard now. Question number three. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am washing dishes. Question number four. They aren't. They aren't eating their dinner right now because their food is too hot. Question number five. Are you say English now? Yes, I am. I am. Are you studying English now? Yes, I am. Question number six. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I am I am I'm taking a test. Yes. Question number seven. I am studying. I am studying. I am studying. I can't talk to you right now because I am studying. Question number eight. He usually goes for a walk at this time, but he isn't going for a walk now. Question number nine. Are they doing? It's very noisy upstairs. What are they doing? Question number ten. No, they aren't. Question number 
Oh. I'm, I'm not, not making not dinner making. because we ordered pizza a few minutes ago. Question number 12. Is he sleeping? Is he sleeping right now? Yes, he is. Question number 13. Is? What is that cat doing over there by the chair? Question number 14. Why are we waiting? Who are we waiting for? Question number 15. Oh, I like that little. Who is driving the car? David is driving the car. Question number 16. Is your friend sitting down? No, he isn't. All right. So we can do how many good answers did you have? Right. How many good answers did you have? Did you count the, all correct? I am 50. <laughs> all correct. Okay, so if you have all oh, right thank you that's a 10 for you okay si tienen las 16 buenas es 10 si tiene 15 buenas 9.4 14 buenas 8.8 13 buenas 8.1 12 buenas 7.5 11 todavía es aceptable 6.9 y 10 pues vamos a seguir practicando como les fue very good. <laughs> okay, so don't worry, um, very good. We're going to continue practicing this topic. Lo vamos a seguir practicando. Okay, so we have this. Um, Okay. Did you check this conversation in your platform? Yes. Okay. The conversation, what time is it there? Can you repeat? What time is it there? What time, what time, is, what time is it there? Okay. So you see, um, well, they are probably, well, he, he has a suitcase here. She's sleeping, it's four. You can see the moon here. He is probably at the hotel, I don't know, because I can see a suitcase here. So let's see what's going on and listen to the conversation and then we're gonna practice pronunciation. Page 30, exercise two, conversation. What time is it there? Listen and practice. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay, I'm awake now. Mm -hmm. Okay, the difference because of the time zones. Okay, um, let's repeat the conversation. I'm going to play it one more time and you repeat I'm going to pause. Page 30, exercise two, conversation. What time is it there? 
Listen and practice. Hello. 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 Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. I'm calling from Australia. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. It's John. It's John. I'm, calling I'm calling from, from Australia. 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 I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? And a conference in Sydney. Conference in Sydney. Remember? Remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? Oh, oh right. Right, oh, right. right. What time, time is, is it there? Is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really, I'm really sorry. sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. That's okay. That's okay. I'm awake now. now. Okay, great. Do you have any question about pronunciation? Or about mm. vocabulary? Away. Away is despierto or despierta. Uh -huh. So le dice, estoy despierta ahora. Ahora. Okay. Yes, I'm awake now. Any other question? No. Okay, so I'm going to send you this. Uh, les voy a mandar la conversación para que practiquen. Tengo abierto el micrófono. Uh, quiero ver. Okay, uno. Es este. Uno. Okay, you have the conversation there. So I'm going to create some groups so you can practice in groups. You're going to practice the conversation. And when I create the section groups, you will probably listen. Okay, we're going to practice the conversation. I'm going to create this section. So you have to click join or unirse. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> Entonces, who starts? Entonces, yo, yo, yo. Ajá, yo voy a ser Debbie. Okay, yo, yo, ahorita. Okay. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling for Australia. Australia? I am, I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. 
Wow, very kind. Okay, okay. Can, can change roles? Okay. Me, uh, Debbie. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I am at conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning? 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay, I am way now. Okay, you're doing a good job with pronunciation. Continue practicing with the rest of the group. Okay. Hola, soy, soy Debbie. Ten PM and ten o'clock PM. At it's four o'clock. There is Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Um, four o'clock AM or four AM. Or oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am wake now. Okay. Eh, hoy repetimos al contrario. Si quieren, repita, hagan la práctica ustedes. Okay. Los que practicaron al inicio. Ok. okay. Hey. Hello. Why, uh, why? David, this is John. This is calling from Australia. Australia. I am a conference in Sydney, remember? All right, what time is there? It's 10 p.m. I eat it four o'clock in the in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four I four I am of what really sorry. That's okay, I'm away now. Okay, Good. solo que Good creo job. que no cambiaron los los papeles, los ¿verdad? Ah, sí, correcto. Ajá. Ah. Finish. Okay. Finish. Okay. Take care. Entonces, bye bye. Bye bye. Con <laughs> plug, como dirían por ahí, desconectado. Otra vez. No, no, ya estuvo. Ya estuvo. Aquí creo que sí, volvamos ya a la... Hola. Hello. Hello, we're just waiting for Fabricio and Michelle. Hello. Okay, Michelle is here. And we're missing Fabricio. Okay. Um I see you're good with pronunciation. 
You did a very good job with pronunciation. You just need to be more confident. Tienen que, que tener más confianza en ustedes mismos y soltarse. Tienen buena pronunciación. So uh, let me share with the different topic. As you know, in the conversation, they talk about the time, okay? En la conversación se habla del tiempo, cómo decir la hora. Hay muchas formas, de tres a cuatro formas de decir la hora en inglés. Diciendo la hora. Uh -huh. So we're going to practice some of them. Yes. Right, so as you can see there, we have a clock and it has two sections, okay? Está dividido en dos secciones. Voy a bajar esto acá. Okay, no me va a escribir. Okay. Okay, we have two and we have past. Past. Uh -huh. Aquí donde dice past, past, también se puede decir after. After. Mm -hmm. De hecho, en la plataforma lo tienen como after. After. Uh -huh. Ya van a ver, acá está dividido en dos secciones porque de aquí para acá utilizaremos past o after. Y de esta sección roja para allá vamos a utilizar to. to. Es como decir para en español. Okay, uh, to tell the time in English. Five past. Five past. Five past. Ten past. Y significa como tanto tiempo después. Ajá. Esos son los minutos. Por ejemplo, si digamos que es la una y cinco. Si es la una y cinco, primero menciono los minutos que pasan de la, de la una, que son cinco, ¿verdad? Si es la una y cinco, yo digo it's, para decir la hora, cuando vamos a dar la hora, utilizamos it's. One. It's five past one. one. Primero menciono los minutos que han pasado y luego la hora. It's It's five past one. Esto va más adelantito, pero como ustedes sí que son ansiosos, me hacen adelantarme. Okay. Si son diez pasada la una, ¿cómo diríamos si son diez pasada la una? It's five past one. Exacto. It's ten past one. A quarter past. A quarter past. De ahí viene la hora. A quarter. Un cuarto. O podemos decir 15. 15. 15 past. Y la hora. 54. O a quarter past. Depende. 20 past. 25 past. 25 past. Y cuando es media hora, cuando es media, half pass. Half pass. Ah, por ejemplo, si es la una y media, diríamos it's half past one. Uh -huh. okay. Ahora half vamos a empezar a decir one. two, como decir para. Aquí diríamos 25 to, es como decir 25 minutos para. Uh, si son 25, digamos, son, serían 35, ¿verdad? Digamos que es la 1 y 35, entonces faltan 25, ¿para qué? Tú. Entonces decimos, ¿es 25 to? Tú. Tú. Ok. Tú. Es 25 to. Si son las 3.40, entonces son 20 a las 4, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo diríamos 20 a las 4? 22 to 4. Ok, 22 to 4. Excellent. 22 to 4. A quarter to. 15 para. A quarter to. A quarter to 6. A quarter to 11. So, 10 to. 
I2. And then we have the expression of clock. Of clock is la hora en punto, cuando no hay minutos. Okay, si es la una en punto, it's one o'clock. Las dos en punto, dos redondos, sin minutos. Two o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. So la expresión o'clock es para decir en punto, no, no hay minutos que han pasado. Questions so far? Preguntas? No lo va a mandar. Sure, uh -huh. sí, claro. Yo se los mando. Ok. Ok, entonces, habiendo dicho la explicación ahora, what's the time? Mm -hmm. Se puede preguntar what's the time o what time mm -hmm. is it? What's la más común es what time, time is it? Pero vamos it? a preguntar what time what's, what's the what time? En este caso es 1 o'clock. Acuérdense que la aguja chiquita y luego porque a mí me cuesta one con los relojes. La aguja chiquita es la que dice la hora y la más larga es la de los minutos, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. aquí es la 1 en punto. It's 1 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock. It's What's the time, Denise? Mm. <laughs> It's nine, five past. Mm -hmm. Es que no entiendo cuál es la más chiquita ahí. La que está en el nueve. Ah, it's, it's, it's nine, five it's past. Five. No, primero los minutos yes. que han pasado ah. de la hora. Ah, pues five it's five past, past nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's five past nine. It's five past nine. Ahora, Denis, escoja la siguiente voluntario. Ah, vaya. Mm. Selenia. Dale la pregunta. What's Hola. the time? What is the time? It's ten past six. That's the answer. It's 10 past six. Now, Selenia, ask the question to another classmate. Um, I see. Marce? Okay, Marce. Okay. What it's, time is it? It's quarter past seven. Excellent. That's the answer. Continue. Ask to another classmate. Okay. And Carlos. Bye, bye. What's, adentro. Uh, what's the time? Uh, it's twenty twenty past two. It's twenty past two. Very nice. Continue, Carlos. Ask Plus another two. classmate. Um, Fabricio? Yes, yes. Uh, What's time? It's, it's 25 past 11. Excellent. It's 25 past 11. Excellent job. Now continue. Ask another classmate. Uh, no. Carlos Herrera, what time? What's the time? Again? <laughs> what time is it? Um, it's half to three. It's uh, what time is it? It's Um, it's 25 to 8. 25 to 8. Good job. Choose another person. Okay. 
Clarissa, what time is it? It's 20 to 6. Good job. Continue, Clarissa. Mm, Maudi? Hi. Hi. What time is it? It's five, uh, it, no, it's 15, uh, five. Mm. 15 to five or Pass. quarter to five? <coughs> yes, it's a quarter to five. Uh-huh, aquí se usa el two. It's a quarter to five. Ah, uh, it's a quarter to five. Yes, ask another classmate. Eh, what, vamos a ver. What time is Salenia? It's 10 to 12. 10 to 12, good job. Ask another classmate, Salenia. Um, Milagro. Okay. What's the time? Um, it's five to four. It's five to four. Good job. Continue. Estela. Stella, um, what the time? It's it's thirty five. It's thirty five two. It's thirty five two three three. Thirty five. This one. 35 to 2. 35 to 2. ¿Cuál es la correcta? 35 to 2. 35 to 3. 35 to 3. Yes, 25 to 3. 25 to 3. Next. Oh. <laughs> Pregúntele a otro. Ok, veamos. Por ahí respondieron. Yes, it's five to three. What's the time here? Twenty to five. Twenty to five. It is twenty to five. It's twenty to five. What's the time here? Ten to eleven. Ten to eleven. Ten to eleven. Ten to eleven. What's the time? Where? Seven. Seven. It is a quarter to seven. To seven. Seven. Yes, a quarter to seven. Okay. That Alguien was... está viendo la Betty y se escucha en todo. <laughs> Yes. Bueno, okay. Ya lo vimos desde el capítulo. Ya lo vimos. Okay. Está Now uh, we finish today. So thank you for joining today's section. Um, this is it for today. Tomorrow we will continue practicing. Vamos a hacer, continuar practicando con la hora, con el present continuous. Vamos a ver los, las, los tipos de preguntas. So, um, espero verlos mañana y que venga más gente, porque hoy solo 12, 11 tengo ahora. Ok, so that's it for today. Thank you for joining today's class. See you tomorrow. Okay. Sleep well. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.